Music has the power to move us, to transport us to other worlds. It can evoke emotions, bring back memories, and even inspire us to take action. The melodies and rhythms we hear can resonate deeply within us, creating a profound connection between the listener and the music. But what if music held hidden depths, secret messages embedded within the melodies and lyrics we love? Imagine if the songs we listen to every day contained layers of meaning that we are not consciously aware of, messages that could influence our thoughts and behaviors without us even realizing it. This is the intriguing world of backmasking and subliminal messages. Backmasking involves recording a message backward onto a track that is meant to be played forward, while subliminal messages are hidden cues that are designed to bypass our conscious awareness and speak directly to our subconscious mind. These techniques, shrouded in mystery and controversy, have captivated music fans and fueled debates for decades. Some believe that these hidden messages are a form of artistic expression, while others see them as manipulative tools used to control and influence listeners. Join us as we explore the fascinating and sometimes unsettling world of hidden messages in music. We'll delve into the history of backmasking, uncovering its origins and how it has been used by various artists over the years. We'll also examine the science behind subliminal messaging and its potential effects on the human mind. From the haunting backwards whispers in rock anthems that have sparked urban legends and conspiracy theories, to the subtle, suggestive phrases buried within pop songs that may go unnoticed by the casual listener, the idea of hidden messages embedded in music has captured our imaginations. These hidden elements can add a layer of intrigue and mystery to our favorite songs, making us wonder what else might be lurking beneath the surface. Are these messages real, or are they simply figments of our imagination, fueled by the power of suggestion? Could it be that our minds are playing tricks on us, making us hear things that aren't really there? Let's delve into the world of backmasking and subliminal messages to uncover the truth behind these sonic mysteries. We'll talk to experts, analyze famous examples, and explore the psychological impact of these hidden messages. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, this journey into the hidden sounds and secret messages of music is sure to be an eye-opening experience. Backmasking is a deliberate recording technique where sounds are reversed and inserted into a song. This method has intrigued musicians and listeners alike for decades, creating a sense of mystery and hidden meaning within the music. When the song is played forward, these reverse sounds are virtually undetectable. They blend seamlessly into the track, unnoticed by the casual listener. It's only when the song is played backwards that these hidden messages come to light, revealing a new layer of the composition. However, when the song is played backwards, the hidden message is revealed. This can be anything from a simple phrase to a complex message often sparking curiosity and speculation among fans and critics. This technique has been used for artistic effect, adding an eerie or mysterious layer to the music. Artists have employed backmasking to create a sense of depth and intrigue, making their songs more engaging and thought-provoking. One of the most famous examples of alleged backmasking is found in Led Zeppelin's iconic song Stairway to Heaven. This song, already shrouded in mystique and lyrical ambiguity, became even more controversial with claims of hidden messages. When played in reverse, a section of the song seems to contain satanic messages. This discovery led to widespread speculation and debate, with some listeners convinced of the band's intentional use of backmasking to convey these messages. This sparked outrage among religious groups and fueled the debate about the influence of rock music on young minds. The controversy highlighted the power of music and its potential impact on listeners, especially impressionable youth. Whether intentional or not, the alleged backmasking in Stairway to Heaven ignited a firestorm of controversy that continues to this day. The debate over backmasking has persisted, with some viewing it as a clever artistic tool and others as a dangerous influence. This ongoing discussion underscores the enduring fascination with hidden messages in music and the lengths to which people will go to uncover them. Subliminal messages are different from backmasking. These are hidden words or phrases that are embedded within a song's lyrics or audio, often at a low volume or masked by other sounds. They are designed to be perceived subconsciously, bypassing our conscious awareness. The effectiveness of subliminal messages is still debated, but their use in music has been a source of fascination and concern. The Beatles, pioneers of musical experimentation, are often cited as having used subliminal messages in their music. In their melancholic ballad, Eleanor Rigby, some listeners claim to hear the phrase, 
Ah, look at all the lonely people whispered faintly beneath the surface of the music. While never confirmed by the band, this subtle detail adds a haunting layer to an already poignant song. So, why do artists use these techniques? What drives them to incorporate such intricate and often hidden elements into their music? To understand this, we need to dive deeper into the minds of musicians and what drives their creativity. It's not just about making music, it's about creating an experience, a journey for the listener. For some, it's about adding layers of meaning and complexity to their work. These layers can be musical, lyrical, or even conceptual, each adding a new dimension to the piece. For others, it's a playful nod to their fans or a way to create a sense of mystery and intrigue. This playful interaction can build a stronger connection between the artist and their audience. As a musician, I've always been fascinated by the idea of hidden messages in music. It's like embedding a secret code that only the most attentive listeners can decipher. It's like leaving a secret for only the most dedicated listeners to find. This sense of discovery can make the listening experience much more rewarding and personal. It adds an extra dimension to the music, making it more than just a song, but an experience. This experience can be emotional, intellectual, or even spiritual, depending on the listener's interpretation. Whether it's backmasking or subliminal messages, these techniques allow us to connect with our audience on a deeper level. And that's really what it's all about. It's about creating a bond, a shared secret between the artist and the listener. Indeed, the use of backmasking and subliminal messages can transform a simple song into a rich tapestry of hidden meanings and emotions. These hidden elements can evoke a wide range of feelings and thoughts, making the music resonate on a deeper level. As we continue to explore this fascinating topic, we'll uncover more about the motivations behind these artistic choices and the impact they have on listeners. Stay tuned as we delve into the world of musical secrets and the artists who create them. The journey promises to be as intriguing as the music itself. Led Zeppelin, one of the most iconic rock bands of all time, has often been at the center of backmasking controversies. Their song Stairway to Heaven is perhaps the most infamous example. Yeah, many believe that when played backward, the song contains hidden satanic messages. It sparked countless debates and even led to some radio stations banning the track for a period of time. Whether these claims hold any truth or not, they have certainly added to the mystique and allure of the band. It's a fascinating example of how backmasking can capture the public's imagination. The use of subliminal messages in music isn't just limited to backmasking. Some artists have been known to incorporate whispered messages directly into their tracks. That's right. In the 70s and 80s, it wasn't uncommon to find vinyl records with subtle, almost inaudible messages embedded within the music. These whispers were meant to influence listeners on a subconscious level. It's a technique that has intrigued both musicians and psychologists alike. The idea that a simple whisper could potentially alter a listener's thoughts or behavior is both fascinating and a little bit eerie. The 1980s saw the rise of the satanic panic, a moral panic that swept across the United States. Many believed that rock and metal bands were embedding satanic messages in their music through backmasking. Yeah, it was a time of great fear and suspicion. Parents, religious groups, and even some lawmakers were convinced that these hidden messages were corrupting the youth. As technology evolved, so did the methods of backmasking and subliminal messaging. The transition from vinyl records to MP3S brought new challenges and opportunities. You know, it's kind of fascinating. With digital music, it's easier to manipulate audio files, but it also means listeners are more likely to scrutinize tracks for hidden messages. The big question remains, do subliminal messages in music actually work? To help us understand, we turn to an expert in psychology. Research on subliminal messaging shows mixed results. While some studies suggest that subliminal cues can influence behavior, the effects are often subtle and short-lived. It's not as powerful as some might think. Whether or not subliminal messages have a profound impact, the intrigue surrounding them continues to captivate audiences. From the satanic panic to the digital age, the legacy of backmasking and subliminal messaging in music remains a fascinating chapter in the history of music.